the inability to shoot the three as we all know this raptor team is either red hot from three or ice cold from behind the arc yeah by the way guys uh cut myself shaving so that's why we're all red here sorry about that guys in advance the raptors look the inability to shoot the three was a problem today you got to give the Raptors credit. They were down by 25. They got it to six. Well, that's nice to see. It should not have been 25. At halftime, the Raptors were, what, two of 17 from three? That's awful. 12% or something along those lines in the sing in the, what, in the 10 to 20 range. Well, they ended up going seven for 27, which is only 26, and the Bucks. They couldn't shoot the ball for their life from behind the arc in the fourth, in the third and fourth quarter. 37% from three at halftime, they were shooting over 50%. But that's the problem. When you can't shoot the three, it's an issue. And I gotta say, the starting unit was terrible. They were absolutely terrible. Kawhi looked lost. Lowry, uh, at times he made a couple shots. 10 points on 4 of 11 shooting, 1 of 6 from behind the arc. Missed a couple big threes there in the fourth quarter. Now let's break down this game for what it was. The Raptors don't have a bad first quarter. They have a bad run, and it's, I think it's like a 10-6 game or something. Nick Nurse calls a timeout. Raptors going a 9-2 run, and we're like, hey, there we go. That's what we're, we're plus four. That's what we're talking about. Raptors actually win the first quarter, 25-22. Problem. You couldn't do that in the second quarter. Raptors minus 12, 34-22. They can't defend the ball. They can't make a pass. They can't make a shot. They looked atrocious in the second quarter. And somehow, you're only down nine at the half. Somehow. You come out in the third quarter, and you need to start the third quarter strong. Yeah, they just don't. They don't start on time. The Milwaukee goes on a ridiculously good run, and we're like, wow, this is, uh, you know, this is going to get way out of hand. I'm ready to do my video in the third quarter. But I'm like, nah, let's hang on and watch the end of the third and just kind of see what happens. The Raptors go on a 22-9 run to end the third quarter. And it's a 12-point game heading into the fourth. Anything can happen at this point. And the Raptors start the fourth quarter red hot. They get Giannis in, in foul troubles. He leaves the game early on. Siakam gets an and one off him. And the Raptors cut the lead to six. With like nine minutes left. I'm like, this is it. The Raptors can come back. But without Giannis on the floor... The Raptors don't take advantage, and they don't make their shots, and they start trailing and trailing, and then at one point, with like five or what, like four minutes left, they bring back Giannis, and then it's over. There are a few plays that I can nitpick and say, oh, I didn't like this, I didn't like that. Like Lowry trying to pass, I think it was DeLon Wright, and it hits Serge Ibaka in the back, and they turn it over. Now, ideally, Kyle Lowry gets a charge out of it as well on the, on the same play. Um... Late in the game, you're down by six. Kawhi Leonard gets the steal. We're all fired up. He could make it a four-point game with like two minutes left. This is it. And Siakam, who has been tearing everything apart in the fourth quarter and the third, and heck, the entire game for that matter. Kawhi decides to wait. Runs down with, with Siakam beside him and one defender gets down there and waits. For another help defender then he goes up trying to get the foul i guess and he gets it blocked he goes up again gets it blocked again look i love Kawhi, but he was not having a good game tonight and he would be the first person to say so 16 points eight rebounds there snaps the 20 point streak for him still nobody touches vince carter's streak for a raptor he shoots seven of 20 he doesn't make a three he was oh of two minus eight in the floor that doesn't mean anything from what i'm getting at here and siakam has 28. I think at the time he was like 12 of 17 shooting. He's made two threes. He's on fire. Give him the damn ball and let him throw it down. And if not, hell, he's been good enough. He might as well, he might even get an and one out of it. But instead, Kawhi tries to get the and one himself and gets it blocked twice. And it's a turnover the other way, which leads to them scoring, pushing that lead back to A with like a minute and a half left, and that's all she wrote. 
And I'm not saying that was the turning point because, heck, the turning point was getting a 25-point lead against you. But that's a play I look at and I'm like, man, you make that extra pass. You make it. Uh. But in the end, it's three-point shooting. The fact that the Raptors made two the entire first half. And Milwaukee made what? Like, were they in double digits at the half or something like that? Like They, they made like eight or nine or something like that. If, if anything, it's really close to double digits. You're going to lose a lot of games like that. And the fact that the Raptors weren't making their wide open looks. And w look, turnovers, I don't think they were that uh, different. 17-16. Uh, oh, so yeah, we they had one more turnover. But it felt like we looked sloppy and looked uh, atrocious. I mean, let me look at some uh, big stats here. Um, yeah, there's nothing that really stands out other than a 24-point lead to R5, which was in the first quarter. But you look at the way this team goes. And I know, guys, we can sit here and say, let's trade, let's trade, let's trade. But who are you going to go after? Give me a realistic trade, please. Don't give me an Anthony Davis trade because it it's probably not even going to happen. And if it does, holy smokes. But if it does, you're going to have to give it Pascal Siakam. You saw what he did there tonight. You've seen the impact of him this year. This guy is just breaking out of his shell. Do you really want to try and move that? I don't know. Give me a realistic one. We know we need sharpshooters. We thought CJ Miles was when we signed him. We thought he was maybe... When, we, when he had that three-game streak of knocking down some threes. But since then, he had like one or two bad games in a row, and he hasn't played since. Who's the Raptors' sharpshooter? Tell me about it. And you can't say Kawhi because he's your, he's your star. They don't have one. Danny Green? Okay, Danny Green, I can say, is, is the sharpshooter. But again, he didn't... What? He had no points on 0-4 shooting tonight, and he missed his 1-3. Took now he did uh, leave the game at some point, and I think it, I forgot what happened to him. I think it was like some stomach flu or something like that. He came back and left the game again. He only played 13 minutes. You could say that's a big factor. I think a big factor is him getting no points and and not being able to play much. But I'm not saying that was a turning point in the game. The turning point was not being able to defend the three. They were making their looks, and the Raptors were not. And we've seen a lot this year. This Raptor team gets in big holes and they try and find ways to climb out of them. They almost did today. You were playing a damn good... If you're playing a team like uh, the Knicks, because you look at them right now, you might be able to come back and win that game like that. However, you shouldn't even be down 24 against the Knicks, but yeah, nonetheless, you might have been able to come back. But that is a Milwaukee Bucks team that is number one in the Eastern Conference and well-deserved. Look at their play. Giannis didn't even get 20 points in the game today. But you had Middleton with 18, uh, Brooke Lopez with 11, Blezo with 14, Brogdon with 11, George Hill with 10. Who's it? DJ Wilson, whoever the hell this guy is. He had 16. They had a collective group effort. Now, I love what Fred Van Vliet has done for the most part for this team. And there was quite a few questionable things I had for him in the game today. But why are we seeing more of Norman Powell? That's a question I have for you guys. Because last year, we knew why he wasn't playing. And to start this year, yeah, we knew why he wasn't getting a lot of playing time. But, he, but when he was playing, he was doing well. But you knew what Fred was last year, so he won the spot. So, you know, Norm Powell has to win the spot over. But I'm sorry. If you can sit here and tell me that Fred Van Vee has been the better player than Norman Powell over the last what, month, I'd love to have that argument. Because Powell gives you that hardcore defense... Uh, what is he? He had 10 points in 22 minutes. Today. He shot 4 of 6. He was 2 of 2 from uh, from 3. Uh, he was a plus 4 while he was on the floor. And uh, Norman Powell has been consistently giving you double-digit games other than the last one where he had 9 against Dallas. He gave you 10, 9, then 10, 12, 11, 14. But you look at those, you look at the games, the shooting percentages are way up. He's shooting 49% from the field, 38% from three. Let me go to Fred here. He had a pretty good game today, but I'm not going off of that. He's shooting 40% from the field, almost 10% difference. And he's shooting, what, 2% difference from three? So it's not a big, big difference there. But I don't agree with Norman Powell not getting those grindy minutes near the end. No, I'm sorry. We the, the starting unit did not give you at all what you like to see in the game today. Your bench was your most productive. Listen to this. Siakam minus 15, even though he was fantastic. Leonard minus 8. Abaka minus 9. Lowry minus 13. Danny Green minus 14, and he only played 13 minutes. 
They did not play well tonight. Now, they had a long layoff, but I'm not saying rest because that's complete garbage. They did not show up on time. And we have noticed this in these national broadcast games. The Raptors don't start on time, and they try and find a way to come back late. And at least lately, they've come up short. You can't do this on a game-to-game basis, especially against a team as good as Milwaukee is. They're a damn good team. Do they deserve to be in first place? Absolutely. And that is why they are, and that is why the Raptors have now lost the season series against them, and have now, the tiebreak is in Milwaukee's favor, and that's the way it is, and they've won two games in Toronto. So if you Raptor fans are saying, ah, we can beat them in the playoffs, they've won two in Toronto. If you won both in T.O., and then you lost both in Milwaukee, then we could argue about it. You won one in Milwaukee, you also got blown out in Milwaukee as well. And then you lost both at home. Sorry. You want, yeah, you did. You lost both at home. It's a problem. Now, next game for the Raptors is Sunday afternoon. 3 o'clock tip-off. The Raptors, uh, they welcome in the LA Clippers. The Raptors, I think they have like a 10-game homestand or some crazy thing like that going on right now. Uh, Sunday, 3 o'clock against the Clippers. A team that is barely hanging into their playoff lives. They have not played well lately. And I don't care what this game was today because we can't change the result. But the Raptors have to come to play sun, excuse me, Sunday against the Clippers. Offensively and defensively. Make your threes. Masai, I'm going to write a note here to you from Raptor fans. Dear Masai Ujiri, we love this team. We, we love the Toronto Raptors. But we know there is room to improve for guys that can shoot the three. Period. That's it. Defensively, we know what this Raptor team can do. Shooting from the field, we know what they can do. I don't know what they shot tonight. At one point, it was like 43%. It wasn't that great. I want to actually see how it ended up. Um, 40%. That's awful. But for the most part, they haven't been bad. Kawhi is not going to be that bad very often. Masai Ujiri, the Raptors need guys who can shoot the three. From every single Raptor fan known to man. All right? So you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. You guys enjoyed the video, and you guys did not enjoy the game today. Smack that like button. Do appreciate that. Also, also Kyle Lowry, All-Star Reserve. Congratulations. Fifth, five-time All-Star Kyle Lowry. Um, didn't really show it much tonight. Um... Pascal Siakam got snubbed, and he had 28. So there you go. Get a little bit of spice up in that uh, whole spiel there. Hit the like button if you guys enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button if you guys did enjoy it as well. Comment down below what your thoughts of this game was, what your thoughts were towards Kawhi Leonard in the game today, what your thoughts were towards the entirety of the game, and are you worried? And also, my note to Masai Ujiri. Do you agree? Or would you like to write him a note yourself? If so, do so in the comments. Because... I'd love to hear it, and I know he will, right? No, probably not. But I don't care, because Masai Ujiri, we need a damn shooter. And no CJ Miles crap. All right, so you know what, guys? I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and all that great stuff. Uh, Evan and I will talk to you guys uh, Wednesday or Thursday next week, podcast edition. Links are in the description for the podcast channel and for the podcast stuff on iTunes. Twitter is also down below. Follow up, send me a DM. Do all that great stuff. And I will talk to you guys Leafs edition tomorrow night as the Leafs are back in action finally after the All-Star break uh, as the Leafs welcome in Jake Muzzin to the Toronto Maple Leafs. However, they travel to Detroit to take on the Red Wings at Little Caesars Arena. Uh, I think it's a 7th. 30 puck drop tomorrow 7 7 30 puck drop there at little caesars arena tomorrow night and as for the raptors guys they've now lost three of their last four games they gotta smarten up here as they take on the los angeles clippers in or in, at scotia bank arena they got a long home stretch right now you gotta take advantage they didn't tonight but you gotta start that on sunday three o'clock tip off as the raps welcome in the clippers i hope you guys enjoy this video I'll talk to you guys then